This guy's a very talented back, and they want him involved early and often. Made a throw for the first time. Scans the field. Finds a crosser. Bryson Nesbitt. The tight end gets loose. And he's across the 50. Diving down to about the 41. And this is what I talked about with Drake May. Just taking the simple completion. Easy, shallow route to his big dog. Bryson Nesbitt across the field. And then watch him change with the yak. They actually had him stepping out at the 49-yard line. And now a loss of one on the handoff to Hampton. But sometimes you just got to dial it up and let them know what's up in those first possessions. May in trouble. Cuts it back. And he's to the 45-yard line to make it fourth down and six. You can see our go-no-go no go analytics said they should be kicking here. Mac Brown said we're going for it when necessary. And May's going to take a shot right They're already doing that. Tom McGinnis, end over end line drive. Green lets it bounce inside the five. And they keep it out of the end zone. Terrific job on special teams by North Carolina. Guard line. Drew Little running downfield to down a 49 yard punt. Very nice job by Drew Little, knowing that in college football it doesn't. Listen, if you need a play, call Drake May. He's got to make a lot of them today. Here's Mafa right up the gut. He is tough to bring down. Gets a push and finally forward progress stopped at the nine yard line after a gain of seven. Keeper for Plumman. He's down the sideline. A little stutter step. Bumped out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Quarterback run and a first down for Plumman. Yeah, and what you see, Club is going to read the defensive end. And don't get it twisted, people. This guy's not sneaky athletic. Don't you dare say that. Shipley and Mafa share the backfield for the first time. And here's the jet sweep to Shipley. Puts it back. Picks up about five and a half. Biggers, another tackle. So Clemson dodges one to keep the ball. Third down and five. That might be a backwards pass to Shipley. Gets a block, lowers his shoulders. He's got the first down. Player, that's why he was able to keep his legs churning and get the first down. Shipley again. This time going nowhere. Wrapped up by Cedric Gray. Absolutely love it. Back to Shipley. To the 50 yard line. And across two yards shy of the first down. So it'll be third down and two. And you can tell that's why they're punting right now. They probably worked on that all week. Wanting them. And here's the pick. And we've got a fake punt. And that will go nowhere. The ball's loose. It doesn't matter whether it's recovered by North Carolina or not. This will be a takeaway as his team for another possession has great field position. Oh my goodness, is that Tyler Davis? So another great opportunity for Drake May with field position. Pitch and catch. And Tez Walker picks up seven. Hampton has the first down. In previous weeks, they've run that same set to run with Drake May, and that time they caught the defense off guard. May floating. He's going to heave one for the front right. Pylon drops it in. J.J. Jones. That's a North Carolina touchdown. 
what you're going to see is you're going to see J.J. Jones run vertical and run a post across and watch Drake May get to the outside on this play and allow himself to buy time to make this throw with the pressure to his left. Amazing on platform in close games and not hurt his team, but he's grown extremely throughout this year. Shipley comes up four yards shy on the first down. Another tackle by Cedric Gray. Bunch set right, third down and four. Well protected. Double clutches. Checks it down underneath. And that goes nowhere. Stellano is blown up. Make the stop. And it'll be a three and out for Clemson. And everyone's going to ask, well, why did he double clutch it? Well, it's because the coverage didn't dictate itself. And you've got a fair offense is getting the better of Clemson's defense. And if that doesn't change, it's going to be a long game. Made on the slant. John Copenhaver, a first down. Although we did say to Mac Brown yesterday, had their face masks tangled up, had to be separated as Hampton breaks free. Amarion Hampton down the sideline. Home run speed for Hampton. Touchdown. We'll see if he had this ball all the way through. Look at him, Tiki Barber in it, holding it up tight. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it might. Game changing play. And off Mappa to start this drive. Mappa gets loose. First down. Actually, the fake punt in midfield was technically a fumble recovered by North Carolina. And one of the keys that Dabo told us is the turnover margin. So they've got that going. Now they're trying to establish the run. Loved it. To the sideline. Everybody's a little struggling to hold on to the football today, but you're going to see the RPO right here. Adam Randall threatens with vertical speed and then bobbles the ball. Maybe that helped him break that tackle. I don't know. Bunch set right with Shipley and two tight ends on third down. Lubnick looks left instead, throws the out. Tyler Brown and looks to be good enough for a first down. And that would make Clemson three for six. Said that Tyler Brown is their most dynamic receiver, and we saw that last week with the one-handed OBJ-like catch. Back to Mafa, who almost busted it. He's got six yards, but an ankle tackle. Bob, he almost busted it. Play action. One-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Stellato. First down. Mafa in the red zone. Jitterbikes and Pratt crawls down to the seven yard line. Mafa and Shipley in the eye. Klubnik instead looking for the push. He's got the first down easily. Out to the edge. And losing a little real estate is Tyler Brown. Real estate, but the way that Marcus Allen just shot the gap right there, getting out of the way of that try. Lovnick with only 43 yards passing to this point. He'll try and throw for it here. Slap! It's a breaking stool! Touchdown! Nearly five minutes gone by in the second quarter. And what you're going to see is a motion across. You're going to see the back come across. This guy's going to come across the formation, and Brittig Stool's going to run up. Uh-uh! Hit him with a nice little slant route. Beautiful job. Misdirection. Quarterback. In the eyes of at least some of your fan base. Yeah, I mean, like almost the entire fan base for sure. Amarion Hampton, about a four-yard game. Well, that was a well-publicized call to a talk show a couple weeks ago. Long throw, Nesbitt climbs the ladder and pulls it down for a gain of five. Rolling actually is, I see what you did there. You see what I did there. boy. Amarion Hampton. I bet he secures the ball this time. Written out of bounds by Andrew Makuba. And just a really nice job by John Copenhaver inserting inside and getting to the backer, allowing Omarion Hampton to get and making you have to make tough throws. But Khalil Barnes, number 36, I'll tell you a little bit more about him after this play. Tans Walker, nowhere to go. Gets to midfield before he is driven back by Nate Wiggins. Will the Tigers bring a blitz? They will on third down. May into a tight window short of the first.
first down. Catch made on the dive by J.J. Jones. Now, he also said, I've got the play best player in the game. And that's number 10, who creeps up under center. Is this a hard count? Nope. A quick toss. Hampton. Short of the first down. A oh, stop on downs for Clemson. Their defense takes it back near midfield. The main reason for that stop, it's the corner. They're trying to get out to the edge. But look at Avion Terrell. Coming in on the outside. Let it be known that at Clemson, the corners actually tackle. If you're the wide receiver out there, you've got to make do a much better job of allowing the most recent, of course, calls Athens home. Back to back like Drake. Klubnik with a check down. Stalana, catch and run. To midfield. I mean, my God, Nick. How long are you going to coach, man? <laughs> he is killing it. Screen to Tyler Brown. Wrapped up. Thrown out of bounds by Don Chapman. Oh. And that will cost North Carolina an extra 15. Said, you're going to do this to my teammate? Because guess who he just shook out of his shoes? It was Don Chapman. Shipley brought down behind the line to the ball pop out. It's on the ground. North Carolina's got it. Came in Rucker. Watches Will Shipley gets this ball on the inside zone. Came in Rucker comes in and he keeps up punches that bad boy out. Allowing. Number 98. Kevin has a junior to fall off. That's Junior to pick up and run with it because I'd love to see Big Ben run down the football field. But at the end of the day, if you can stop them from scoring, like you've talked about so many times here, Bob. But the plus 10 yard line. So a lot of points have come off the board both ways. Drake May steps up in the pocket. He'll take off and run. Drake May tripped up, but gets all the way out across the 20. Brought down. And now we will get the clock stopping. After a first down inside of the last two minutes. And what I love most about the seas part. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to run down the field and utilize my legs and get us out of this backed up situation. North Carolina has their timeout. Strike back. Set. TJ Parker leads all freshmen. Goes for loss. That's his fifth sack of the season. Yeah, you're going to see TJ Parker. The initial move doesn't work, but he stays consistent with it. And when Drake May tries to extend the play, once again, breaking to his left, he's right there all over it. Johnny on the spot. Offense time to score. This is a big down for North Carolina. Drake May underneath. And that will make it third down and manageable. Third down and about nine. It's after the Clemson timeout. Five-man rush. May sacked again. And now Dabo Sweeney. I would think would we'll call his final timeout as Jeremiah Trotter gets home. And Trotter over the center, right? That causes all of these guys to have one-on-ones. And when they set up those one-on-one -on -one blocks, now you give your best pass rushers an opportunity to go against guys that are less athletic than them. And then when Drake May steps up, guess who's there on the spot? Jeremiah Trotter Jr. to force him to not be able to get out of the pocket. Beautiful defensive side. Protection, solid once again. Same ball is on time. Klopnik puts it on Stamala. Decision, when you get the clock stopped after a first down, you think you can get a play call. Yeah, but you see Cade Klopnik go through his read here. Stilato, nice job. But you're right. It does put you in a situation where you don't have as many downs. So this third and ten is huge. Here's the blitz on third down. Klopnik, he's going to lock one toward the end zone. Shipley and Mafa in the backfield. Klubnik steps up. Klubnik can't take a sack. Reaches the ball out. Touchdown! They say he broke the plane on the reach. Middle route not there. Step up. All right, now it's time to go. It's time to get saucy. Let's see if we slow that down and see if he actually is short of the goal line. This is going to be a close one. Watch it. Spin move. So here you're going to see it again. We're going to try to slow this down. 
can see where the ball is when he hits the ground. His knees are down. Oh, my goodness. It might be by the tip, or he might be short by just the tip. Again, rule the touchdown on the field. Down so there. you have to have indisputable evidence that the nose of the football is short of the goal line. And I'm not sure from either of those two looks that you'd be able to tell. This one, maybe. I think the nose of the football touches the goal line. You think it does? I, I think it's the right call. I think if, if I can't tell up here that they're not going to be able to overturn it if it was ruled a touchdown. But my, oh my. Just the tip here for the end zone, and that's going to be the determining factor of whether or not this is a touchdown. Power Eccles and Jabari Ritzy combined to make the stop on Klubnik. And obviously, Klubnik not throwing the ball risks. The rule of field stands. Touchdown. He risks no points before halftime because if he's tackled in the field of play, the half end. We saw Wes Goodwin loads up with five on the up. The defensive line. May scrambles. May first down and more. Drake May with a slide to keep the drive alive as May picks up 14. And it's beautiful. Watch him work through his progression, find the crevice in the defense. Play clock winding down. May back to throw. Scans the field. Pocket collapses. It's a stop on downs. Clemson gets the sack. Barnes is one of their best tackling players on the back end. Here he showed you that he can also go back there and get sacks. But this one was mostly a coverage sack. It had nothing to do with a great pass rush move. Watch as they've got multiple guys in coverage. It looks like the UNC players might be a little fatigued because they're not working as hard as they possibly can to get open. As you see, number five. Club Nick off play action. Long throw to the sideline. It's dropped right in. Adam Randall, a contested catch. All the way downfield, the chip on top of Randall. He loves it. Yeah, and you'll see that they run an underneath route. I've seen this one used in the NFL. It looks like a shallow rub, and he kind of just continues to go up the field with two posts on the other side. Nice job by Kate Club. Yeah, seems like they're going to hand it to Phil Moffa and allow him to go barrel full for a first down. They're going to go Wildcat and snap it directly to Moffa. He tries the right-hand side. He finds Painter. That's a Clemson touchdown. So, yeah, you see this vacant spot right here? Well, that's where Kate Plumnick was. They ran him out, and then they allowed Phil Moffa to get downhill and break it outside. When you get this man in a one-on-one -on -one situation, there is not a player in the country that wants to tackle. And right there, he breaks a tackle on Power Eccles, right at the line of scrimmage, going for the legs. And he said, young man, I run through the arm tackles. Let's get to business. In three high school seasons, in the first half to J.J. Jones, that's the only score for North Carolina, but two Hampton fumbles down near the end zone. Have heard them. Over the middle, Tess Walker. Boxes out of the 45-yard line in front of Nate Wiggins. Yes, and this is why NFL recruiters, or he, he works across the formation and throws the ball right on his receiver. Ooh. There goes Hampton. Stays on his feet. You see the cross sip insert from Copenhagen. Once again, great run play that they have. And then it's Omarion Hampton seeing two, splitting two, and then getting his legs up there on the sideline to ensure that he was not taken down. Keeps his feet in bounds. Big ol' inside zone and watch the put a move on number 27 right there number 20 pretty much showing you that whatever they ruled on the field they didn't have enough evidence to overturn it and they moved on to the next play heels having a tough time getting lined up Clubnick yeah. on a keeper with a skip off being stretched out and brought down trick gray and stick lane were out there to combine on the tackle for loss yeah and, and 
Kane makes the right read here, gets outside. It's just when you're a wide receiver on the outside. On Kane Klubnik, offsetting, so we do it again. Delayed handoff to Shipley. Breaks a tackle! Shipley to the 10! Hugging the pile on! Touchdown! They've got a two-score lead again. Yes, and you're going to see right here... Oh, let me get that. There you go, right here. You're going to see a quarterback, not a quarterback draw, but a running back draw. Shipley's going to wait here, then he's going to find this gap right down the field. And what it does for him is it allows him to make the linebackers have to second-guess themselves. Cayman Rucker goes to the line of scrimmage. He's out there. Will Shipley hits him with some sauce. And then it's just speed, speed, speed to the goal line. Watch this move right here. That man's got more moves than the military family. And Will Shipley is showing you. But they're not putting up the same amount of points that we're used to seeing from the number one offense in the ACC. Drake Bay will run. Stands on his feet. All the way out to midfield before Clemson finally gets him down. Run for Drake May. Eventually it was Jeremiah Trotter to make the stop. Yeah, and this one right here looks like a designated quarterback draw. He's telling Final play of the third quarter, most likely. And there's Shipley. Clemson, a first down. And he's got it. And then some. Get the ball to great players in space. Good things happen. It's certainly Duke with the backup quarterback out there. Now they're having to face this running attack with Kate Club. Deep shot. Looking for Shipley. Got it. Inside the 10-yard line. Klubnik down the seat. And yeah, you could say, man, I wish he threw this about seven yards further so it was a touchdown. But for Will Shipley, a running back, to have these type of... And he has since then. This one from 21. And he's got it. And there is the three-score lead with ten and a half to go. A lot of Heisman implications in that game for Michael Penix Jr. for sure. Drake May, room to run. He's got a first down. Picks up 17. And this is what happens when you constantly try to quarterback spy a guy like Drake May who can make plays with his feet. He understands us in the passing game. He was fourth in the ACC in yards per catch coming into this game and had some big plays already. May, shovel pass behind McCollum, who scoots to the sideline, and he's inside the 15-yard line all the way down to about the 12. Drake Bay's a magician in the pocket, but he's also a magician outside the pocket. Look at this right here. Extended, bubble screen there. A lot of time coming off the clock. Hampton, second down. He's got the touchdown, and now we've got a two-possession game again. And you see it right there. Number 11, Peter Woods, goes high. He basically annihilates that quarterback. That always gives you hope. Drake May back to work. He goes down with a flag down as well. Couple of flags thrown. You're going to see it right there on Xavier Thomas. He's pulling his back to give Drake May some type of scene against this soft coverage. May, he's going to put one up for grabs. Almost a Hail Mary down the sideline. That just goes out of bounds. <laughs> Bootleg for Clemson, and he'll be dragged down well behind the line of scrimmage. All the way back to the 26-yard line. May set to go. To the side. drafted in the first couple picks not only does he see it and recognize it he closes on it and shows off the ball skills catches it the second time gets a foot in we'll see if he got it all the way in there on the sideline but holy moly throwing a shot nate wiggins just made himself a lot of money because i know there's a lot of nfl scouts here watching him play